Welcome to a lesson on the fundamental theorem of line integrals over a closed curve. The fundamental theorem of line integrals states that if the vector field f is conservative, meaning it's equal to the gradient of function f, then the line integral between any two points is the difference between the potential functions at the ending point and beginning points. So given that we have a piecewise smooth curve, to apply this theorem, we must first check to make sure the vector field is conservative, and then we must determine the potential function using gradient f. And in the first video we discussed that once we know this theorem, it really gives us choices when evaluating a line integral, meaning we can always parameterize the curve and the vector field in terms of t, and then integrate with respects to t, or if we can verify that the vector field is conservative, we can use the fundamental theorem of line integrals, using the potential function, or we can use a simpler path and then parameterize in terms of t. In this video, we'll take a look at a curve that is closed. So here we want to evaluate this line integral. If f is conservative, we want to use the fundamental theorem of line integrals, and c is the circle x squared plus y squared equals nine from the point three zero counterclockwise to the point three zero. So we're going to start here, and we're also going to end here. Let's first see if the vector field is conservative. Since this vector field is in R2, we just have to verify the partial derivative of g with respect to x is equal to the partial derivative of f with respect to y, where the x component would be f and the y component would be g. So the partial derivative of g with respect to x would just be e to the x cosine y, and the partial derivative of f with respect to y would be e to the x cosine y. So these are equal and therefore the vector field f is conservative. So now that we know f is conservative, let's determine the potential function and then we can apply the fundamental theorem of line integrals. So remember if f is conservative, then f is equal to the gradient of little f. So this tells us the components of vector field f are the partial derivatives of f with respect to x and with respect to y. So now to recover the potential function f of x, y, we're going to integrate e to the x sine y with respect to x, and then we'll integrate e to the x cosine y with respect to y, and then by analyzing the antiderivatives, we should be able to determine the original function f of x, y. So the antiderivative of e to the x sine y with respect to x would just be e to the x sine y. And the constant of integration would be a function of y. Now integrating e to the x cosine y with respect to y is going to give us e to the x sine y plus a constant of integration c of x. But as we can see from both of these antiderivatives, our potential function f of x, y would just be e to the x sine y plus c. So now that we know our potential function, we know the vector field is conservative, and we know our path is closed from the point three zero to the point three zero, we can evaluate this line integral. It's going to be equal to our potential function and then we'll find the difference of this function evaluated at three zero and again at three zero. So, well if we evaluate this function at the same point twice, this is going to be equal to zero. So by doing this problem, what we've discovered is that if f is conservative, the line integral is going to equal zero for every closed curve in R. And hopefully that makes sense because remember, if f is conservative, the line integral is path independent. So if I start at a point along any path where I end, where I started, as long as f is conservative, the line integral will equal zero. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching.